Okay. All right, awesome. Destiny, welcome. Appreciate you jumping on with us here today. Um, love for you to kind of tell us a little bit about yourself, just a quick intro, where you're playing at, school, this and that. Uh, my name is Destiny. I'm a junior point guard at St. Elizabeth University in Morristown, New Jersey. Uh, I've been playing basketball for almost 11 years now. So basketball is basically a part of me at this point. Um, like I said, basketball is a part of me. I don't, I don't really do anything outside of basketball in school. I'm a big family person. Other than that, it's basketball, school, and money. I love it. You're dialed in. Do you? So we were doing some research here. Do you remember what happened on February 12th of 2022? <laughs> no, I don't remember that. That is when you scored a career high 29 points versus Rosemont. Do you remember that game? Yeah, I remember that game. That How'd that, that was big. Honestly, I didn't know I dropped that many points until after the game. Like, of course, in the moment, it's like, dang, I'm scoring a lot, but it never feels like a lot until you see the stat sheet. Yeah, for sure. Were you just locked in all day? Yeah, I was locked in. I was hot. They kept just kept feeding me. So yeah, yeah, I love it. Um, also, in twenty one twenty two season, you were named CSAC Rookie of the Year, and then you led your team in scoring, assists, and steals per game. How do you feel like your freshman year, your first year, kind of prepared you for the rest of your career? Honestly, my freshman year was a little crazy because I didn't play at all my first semester. So all of that working for a few months just made me very greedy so and hungry to play. So getting on the court, it was like nobody could stay in front of me because I was just ready. Been training, training. I was ready to put on a uniform and go. Nice. I love it. Who is your favorite basketball player? Um, I'm not going to say a favorite. I have a couple. I say Kobe, mm -hmm. Kyrie, and Damian Lillard, and Car Carmelo Anthony. Okay, cool, cool. What do you think about the whole Jordan or LeBron debate as the GOAT? If you ask me, the GOAT is Kobe, but then, of course, it would be Jordan and then LeBron. Yep, yep. All right. I hear you. I hear you. Mamba mentality. It seems like you've got it. Of course. It. Of course. So what is your why for this season? Um, I feel like this is my statement year. Like, I played – this will be my actual – my second complete year of playing in college. And I feel like my name is out there, but I still – I still didn't really show everything that I could do yet. So I, this year is my breakout season. I really feel like I'm going to make a statement in People know who Destiny Battle is, but they really going to know who I am. I love that. I love the confidence. What are some goals for yourself for this season and then for your team? Um, my goal is to hit my 1,000 points. That's one of my main goals. And to have a, have a consistent game, keeping my numbers consistent, consistent every season or every game. Um, as far as my team, I see a lot of potential. So, honestly – my goal for the team is to get to the championship and just take it all away. We have a lot of good talent. We got a lot of potential people ready to go. So, yeah. That's sweet. Who would you say is the best college basketball player right now? Um, Caitlin Clark, definitely. Caitlin team, Clark. Caitlin, team Caitlin Clark? Of course. Awesome. Um, what, what was the reason? Why did you decide to go to St. Elizabeth? Um, honestly, it was it was my second choice. Coming into the school, I expected a whole different coach, but she transferred elsewhere and got a bigger opportunity. And I, I really liked everything that she was talking about when I had my visit and when I met her. And I felt like this school was – it just felt right to me. Nice. What about um, – is there anyone that you look up to in life or in basketball that you kind of try to emulate – you know, either your game or just personal attributes of yourself? Um, personally, personal attributes of myself, it would definitely go to my mom, regardless of anything. My mom could be sore in pain, but if somebody needs her, she has a task, she's going to do 30 things and then worry about being sore later. So the person who definitely pushes me is definitely my mother all the time. Nah, that sounds good. I'm sure, I'm sure she's going to love the praise on that one. That's awesome. <laughs> 
Is there a quote that gets you out of bed any, every morning? Is there a quote that you live by? Uh, yeah, that's crazy. I just put one on the wall. The quote says, everything negative, pressure, challenges, is all an opportunity for me to rise. By the Black Mamba, of course. By the Black Mamba. Fresher, fresher makes diamonds, hey? Definitely do. Awesome. What can people expect from you on the Access app this season with your content? Um, like I said, I feel like it's a breakout year for me. I'm not much of a social media person, but I have to put myself out there in order to not just on the court, but social media wise. So definitely getting to know me a little bit more off the court. What about training regimen? Do you think that'll be something you'll be posting about showing your dedication to your craft? Um, I post here and there, but I really feel like the biggest athletes work the hardest in the dark. So, but I could definitely get into that a little more. Yeah. Maybe zero, zero training videos. Mm hmm. Zero dark 30 mode activated for you this year, huh? Yeah. That's awesome. I like to work uh, in silence. There you go. Last question for you. Who do you want, and maybe a teammate, maybe a competitor, who do you want to shout out to join Access? Um, I shout out my whole team because I feel like there's a lot of people on my team that uh, definitely get themselves out there personality-wise. And like I said, on the social media aspect, that like to like, pick up a phone and record everything. So I'll, I'll give a shout out to the whole St. Elizabeth women's basketball. Awesome. Is there any, just for your personal, uh, or just any shout outs you want to give um, to wrap up this interview here? Any shout outs to anyone back home, any family? Um, Just everybody that supports me from the beginning up until now, just keep supporting and I promise it's going to pay off. I love it. I love it. All right. Awesome. Destiny, you are a rock star. Thank you so much. Thank you.